Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're going to talk about how you can create and manage images and files within Squarespace. If you've migrated to Squarespace from WordPress or another website building platform, you may notice that Squarespace doesn't seem to have a media library or any ways to manage or upload images. It kind of seems like there's no designated storage area for you to upload images or files in the back end of your site. So this is partially true, but Squarespace has recently come up with some awesome new features to help manage your images and files. Though they might not be the easiest to find, once you know where they are, you'll be able to upload and manage your files and images really easily. So we're going to talk about where to upload and manage images, and then also where to upload and manage files, as there's two different areas for these. So let's jump in. Okay, so number one, where do you manage and upload your images in Squarespace? Because Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, they encourage the average user to use tools like the image blocks and galleries to upload their images. But until recently, if you uploaded an image to one of these image-based blocks, that is the only place you could see it. But finally, Squarespace has an image library feature, so I'm going to show you that now. I am using Squarespace's 7.1 for this example, but this should work exactly the same in Squarespace 7.0. Now, there is no easy access to an image library in your sidebar or anything like that, but the best way to access your image library at any point is to find a place where you can add an image. Anywhere you can add an image essentially is where you can access this image library. So if I click edit on my page, I could either click to add an image block or I could click edit on this section and go to where the background image is. Essentially, wherever there's an image to be uploaded, you can access this image library. So there's already an image in here, but if I click replace, I can click select from library, which will open up the library. Now you can't actually upload images directly to this library. You do still have to upload them into an area where you can upload an image on Squarespace. So like the image blocks, the background images, the gallery blocks, the galleries. And I guess that's why this is the only area you can access this library. But here it is, it's very basic. And because I'm just working on a demo site right now, I only have one image in here. But if you've been using your site for a while, you'll probably see a ton of images in here and it will show you essentially every single image you've ever uploaded to your site. So if you have been using your site for a while, this may be pretty overwhelming because there might be a ton of photos in here. <laughs> but this is basically it. So there's a couple reasons why this is so great. The first is that if you are using multiple images around your site that are the same, you now only need to upload it once and then you can just choose it again from the image library instead of having to re-upload it every single time. So let's say I wanted to add this image to a new image block. I'm gonna click the plus to add a block image, add an image, select from library, and then I'll choose the only image I've ever uploaded to this website. And it's already gonna be there. So you don't need to upload multiples of the same image. So that is just a huge time saver. Another reason why this is so great is you can actually search images using the search bar. So if you have named your images appropriately, you will be able to use the search bar to find images from the past. So this search feature will actually be really helpful when you start to get more and more images in your website. What's really cool and should have been added a long time ago, but has only been added in the last couple of weeks is that you can actually delete images now. You'll probably see that you have a lot of images on your site that you're not using anymore or ones you uploaded and then changed and you don't need. And you might as well delete those because all they're doing is just clogging up your image library and you don't need them. So to delete any image, you can just click the select icon and you can do multiple images at once and you can press this delete button down here. And then also a nice little fun feature of this image library is that you can find free images from unsplash.com and upload them directly to your site, or you can purchase premium stock images by Getty. So that's sort of like a random extra feature in this library, but it is pretty cool. Now this is a pretty scaled back image library. I wouldn't really call it much of an image manager, but I do believe Squarespace has plans to make this more of a all-round image management system. But for now, you can't change any of the file names, which is a bit of a bummer. So if you click on the three dots, you can see all of the information about the image, which is really helpful, but it would be really great if you could update the file name. That is like 
a really simple next step to make it less of just a library and more of a file manager. And then also it would be really great to have folders that you could organize your images into. You could put them into different page folders or just different theme folders just to help you find images you're looking for quickly. So those are like the two things I think that it's missing. And I'm really hoping they're working on those things. They have sort of hinted at the fact that they are working on updates for this image library. So that's really exciting. But for now, this is a really good step in the right direction. And I highly recommend you manage your images this way. Delete the ones you don't need and try not to re-upload the same image over and over again and just select from your library. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is uploading and managing files in Squarespace. So that library we just looked at was just solely for images. But what if you want to upload a PDF or some sort of document that you want people to be able to download from your website? So again, this is one of those things where it's not really that easy to find. It's not going to be in a simple link in the sidebar, which honestly would make more sense. But once you know how to find it, it will become second nature and it's really easy to use. So just like how we could only find the image library when we went to an area where you added images, we can only find the files manager when you're in an area where you're adding a link. So there's lots of different areas around your site that you can add links, either in the pages panel or on your site in the text on buttons. It doesn't matter. We can access our files through any of those means. So if I click edit on the page here and highlight my text to add a link. So I'm going to click the link icon. You'll see this little cog here show up next to where you add your link. And this opens up your link editor or your link settings. And within there, you'll see a tab called file. And this same link editor shows up anywhere you add a link. So if I open up this button, click on the cog, open up the link editor. Again, you'll see files. So this is essentially your file manager where you can add files. I think it's designed this way so that you can upload your files directly to a link. So I'm going to upload just a random CSV file that I have on my computer just to show you that you can upload, I think, any type of file and all files you ever upload in your link editor will stay there. So the file you upload isn't relative to the actual link you clicked on. If I click save and then click out of this and leave the button unlinked, I can go back to my link editor in a different way, back into files, and you'll see that the CSV is still in there. So you're going to be able to access these files anywhere around your site once you've uploaded it. And then of course, if you did actually want to add that file to a button for your visitor to download, all you need to do is just click on it from your link editor. So I'll we'll open it up, file, then select it, save, then save your page. And then when your visitor clicks on the button, it will automatically download whatever file you uploaded. So you can see that my product CSV has just downloaded. So for whatever reason that you need to upload a file to your website, whether it's if you're custom coding or you need to have a downloadable file just like we added, you can do that by accessing your link editor wherever you can add a link. Click on that cog and upload your files here. You can also delete files at any time and you can also rename them. And then just a side note, if you are uploading a file for custom coding purposes, the URL for this file will be slash s slash and then the actual name of the file. Cool, so that's it. That is how to manage your images and manage your files in Squarespace. They're not the most intuitive ways to find file managers, but they are there. And once you know how to access them, it just becomes really easy. So hopefully this video helped you be able to access those areas and it will help you manage your images and your files. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.